goalie tonight, and then any update on Carter? Carter's day to day. Urs is going tonight. I assume Ronnie is in. Ronnie's in. And do you know who he'll be paired with yet? No. No. Eleven four seven D or not sure. It depends on Risto. Okay. And if he's, he can, he's, if he can play, he'll play. Okay. Yeah, he's, so he's game time. Nah, he'll be a decision later today. See how it goes. Yeah. So game time. What are you? Um, what are you looking to see from Ronnie? Obviously, you liked him enough in, in camp to keep him around for a bit. But but what are you looking to see from him in his NHL not debut but first game? In NHL? I just want to see him play. Uh, again, I I don't know him. Uh, you don't get to know people just out of camp. I've gotten to know our team just going through the season. I want to see him play. The, the, he's gotten, we've gotten really good reports down there on him. Um, up the ice, want to see if he gets up the ice, see if he can make a play. There, there's no specific thing I'm looking for. I just want to see him play in an NHL game. What did you like about him in camp, though, when you, when you watched him? Uh, he was in really good shape, full of energy. Um, what, what I see right away, even before he steps on the ice, he's long and he's a right-hand shot. Um, I don't know if he can play. Okay? That's why they go to the minors and play, and now he gets a chance. He'll probably play a couple of games. Um, yeah, I, I'll, I, I, I can't give you any information what I think he is because I just don't know. When you guys did decide to send him to the minors, did your staff give him things to work on, or did you just let Lappy? All the time. No, when we when we sent him down there, in those initial meetings, we were always talking about what he needs to work on and uh, what every player needs to work on. And then Lappy, as I said, I think Lappy's done a really good job with the players down there. I know one of the things Lappy said about him and just every coach that he's had is his leadership. Have you heard about? That aspect of his game? No, no, I haven't really asked many questions on that, just how he's played. Um, I think I'm not, leadership isn't a thing I'm looking for when a guy's trying to break into the league. I'm, I'm just sometimes, especially at that position, uh, they're just trying to find their way and, and get some experience. So glad we're able to give him a couple of games here and see where he's at. With regards to uh, to JBR, obviously, you know, he was on the trade block heading to the deadline, it didn't happen. Have you seen from him, you know, maybe a degree of I don't know, like disappointment with how things played out? He obviously hasn't produced as much over the past few months. Yeah, and he hasn't gotten much ice time. You know, with him and Kevin, and uh, especially those two, I've used kids everywhere on all situations, and it's hurt their ice time. Uh, J, I'm sure JVR was disappointed. Uh, um, you know, he's uh, fighting for his career. You know, to continue his career. Uh, I do think he'll get an opportunity. Uh, uh, yeah, but I, I think he understands. I think he's a pretty level-headed guy. I know him pretty well. Uh, he, he understands what I'm trying to do. Uh, uh, so he, I felt, you know, I was disciplined with him that he get a, didn't get a chance to try to go win. Uh, I'm, I'm not going to, I'm not going to, as you guys did, blame it on Chuck because I think Chuck tried to move him. It didn't happen. Uh, and that's, he's kind of in that spot now where you got a coaching staff and a team trying to figure out and give the young guys every opportunity before we make some decisions. It hurts his ice time. hurts Kevin's ice time, too. I guess kind of as a follow-up to that, because you brought him up, with regards to Kevin, you've been playing him more at center now. You said it's because you, you, know, you want to see how he does it his natural position in terms mm -hmm. of trying to get more offense out of him. But, but what have you seen in terms of his play over the last few weeks? I think it's been a struggle scoring and developing offense. I haven't put him in as many situations uh, as I have earlier in the year um, because I, I want to. Uh, I'm looking at other people, and uh, it's kind of the process we're in now as a team, and it puts them in a little bit of a tough, tough spot as far as ice time. Although Kevin's, Kevin's, got, I think Kevin's got more ice time than uh, uh, James. I don't know, but uh, um, it's just where we're at right now as an organization, and uh, we're going to continue doing it that way. Although JVR is not producing, do you still see those contributions in the way the young guys are playing? I know you said he helps some of them find their way. Yeah, he, he communicates on the bench. Uh, uh, they're both trying. Um, I'm sure they're frustrated. I'm sure they're frustrated with me. Um, but they're, they're good pros. And uh, I, just, I, I just happened, it's funny you ask about James. We just sat down, uh, had about a 10 minute conversation about his days in Toronto. And he's a good man. Uh, and uh, uh, I like them both, but I have to uh, 
uh, I have to go about this the way I think I need to go about it in these games remaining uh, and give the kids looks in all situations. I guess kind of as a follow-up to that, when we talked to you in the days leading up to the deadline about Kevin, you had admitted that, you know, yeah, given his contract situation and his age, you know, there's a chance he might not be part mm -hmm. of, of the future. Obviously, James is a UFA. Mm -hmm. Is it harder for you as a coach to coach those guys in this stretch run with them knowing that they might not be here long term? No, it, it's it's not harder. It, it, it um, listen, you it, coaches care about their players. We may be hard on players and have to be. I mean, we have to coach them, hold them accountable, and and we're going to do that right to the bitter end here. But you also care about the players as far as what their future is going to be and uh, how they feel about things. I I, I think. Uh, a lot of people don't think we do, but that can't cloud the process that I need to go through with the team. And, uh, uh, you know, Kevin and I have had many, many conversations, many honest conversations about where we're going here as an organization and where he's at in this organization. Same thing with James. Uh, they're, both, uh, they're both pros. Uh, they're both, both uh, very mature. Um, you know, they, they, they can understand it. They don't have to like it, uh, but I hope they respect what I'm trying to do as far as where I have to go with these lineups and playing guys in certain spots.